Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Welcome to Evil Noodle Gaming. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Episode number 3, this series where we're transporting everyone by bus. And uh, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. We've let the game run a little bit. And as you can see, there's a guy with a top hat on. <laughs> don't, don't know why. Uh, oh, and then the lady behind him wearing pretty old clothes still. I'm not too sure what that is all about. Anyway, it's going pretty well. The the buses are pretty busy. And, and the coaches, they're all doing pretty well. Let's come out of that. Let's have a look here then. So, as you can see, traffic uh, is a nightmare. <laughs> traffic is terrible. Uh, we're, so at the moment, we're down in uh, Bristol. And the, the bus stops are pretty pretty busy pretty busy waiting for people uh, uh waiting for the buses to turn up uh i mean this one's got 52 people on out of 56 there's lots of people that want to use them it's just that the the traffic i mean you can see that the traffic is just unreal and this is this is across all of the, the towns and the cities but the traffic is just so bad and it's causing a bit of a headache a bit of a headache to be honest uh i mean coming up from here so taunton through into uh bristol here is heaving we've made a couple of changes we've made this part here uh a bus lane and a car lane just to try and help the buses out a little bit that want to get into the bus station because over here before I uh, before I started the the recording anyway, this bus stop was absolutely rammed of people waiting for this one here. Uh, this is the Taunton Loop. Uh, just does a loop here, bus station, loop of Taunton, food to this uh, coach transfer, and it was so busy. I mean, we got enough vehicle, no, we got enough buses on the line, but it was trying to get to the bus station which was a complete disaster so we you know we've added a bus lane in here and uh i think that yeah so we've added this bit in we've also made another change somewhere else that i can't remember uh, oh down here yeah that's right and to be honest it's made <laughs> no difference whatsoever car after car kids screaming adults getting angry i mean it just goes on and on it just never ends well it does eventually and then it starts again so it's pretty busy so what we've done here because this was all single carriageway single lane so we've extended we had to take the road out build it again we've just extended the dual carriageway just to try just to try and help everyone out but it's mostly caused by this junction here that leads into london and you know unless we create something unless we start adding in two lanes through the main road through london I think it's going to stay a bit of an issue for some time and i don't know if i want to because it, let's have a look at this if i go to add this in construction not possible in some places uh hmm so some places it is so three buildings will be removed uh i don't mind about the buildings that are moved it's just the buildings that are gonna be i don't know do we we can't add it in there we'd have to get rid of that i think and then maybe try and add it in but it's just it's going to be a bit of a headache trying to change up all of these four buildings moved three removed three to be demolished four to be moved so i mean that is an option because as you can see no one goes anywhere it's really really bad yes <laughs> yes <laughs> mission complete <laughs> oh 
Oh, dear, oh, dear. So, you know, in the last episode, episode number two, we created a link around Penzance. Plymouth, uh, Barnstable, uh, Exeter, Taunton, and then we created a link, a coach link that goes from uh, Taunton Coach Station, uh, goes Bristol, Swindon, Oxford, Reading, and then through to here. The problem is not many people are going to this point because it doesn't obviously go anywhere from this location at the moment. So we need to create a link from here to uh, this place up here. Uh, but what we have done between episodes, we've created a few... Well, we created one bus link that I was going to do lots of mini ones again, but I thought we might as well do one large one. So it goes from lower reading. Actually, I want to change that. I want to change the name of this place. I want to change it to London West. Uh, London... Yeah, London West bus station. There we go. Okay, so that's named a little bit more sensible now. So it comes up here, uh, the route that we set up through here. Uh, it covers Brighton, it covers Portsmouth, and then Southampton, and then through to Bournemouth. Uh, we just need to add some vehicles to that line. Uh, let's do that. Let's kick things off by doing that. I think we can add them in from this property over here. So we're going to need quite a few on this one. We are going to need quite a few. I'd like to get a couple of the... Uh, where are they? We've got so many to choose from. We really, really have. I'd like to get a few of these in. Uh, the Brighton and the Hove. So let's get a couple of these in. So we go for two of them. So we we'll buy them. Uh, buy vehicles. And then I'd like to get two of the blue ones as well. So we we'll buy them. And something else. Something a little bit more different. We've got the Alexander uh, double deckers here. Uh, I'm not too sure about them. The magic bus. But we've got quite a few of these to choose from. The Enviro 500s. Wow, loads of them to choose from. Uh, maybe we stick with the Eclipse. Gemini. Uh, is it Gemini? Yeah. Uh, oh boy. So many to choose from. I just don't know where to start. I mean, do we start from the beginning of the list? <laughs> and just work our way through it, I guess? Is that the way that we should go about things? The outer circle. Oh, we really do have way too many to choose from. They're quite nice. They're quite pretty. Uh, maybe we do start... I think, I think they're all rough. They're all the same. Just painted differently. Maybe we start from the beginning. I don't know... Uh, okay, we can add some coloured ones in. Unless we stick with a main colour. So we've got a Reva. We could go with a Reva this time round. Nice blue buses. 45 people. Uh, Glasgow, so we can use that. Uh, that's Leeds. Okay, we are trying to stick to some of the buses for the areas. but So for this time around, let's go with the Reva. Sort of turquoise colour there. And it's quite a long route. So we've got four already. Do we have ten on that route? Uh, let's go with fourteen. So ten of these and then four of the others. So we buy them. And then we will set all of them to the Bournemouth to West London loop. So that's going to be a lot of vehicles coming out of there right now. Let's get a look at these. The Eclipse. Yeah, they. I like driving these actually. Well, when I did anyway. I mean, I drive coaches now. But these were my favourite out of the bunch to drive. Nice vehicles. They handled uh, pretty nicely actually. I did like driving these. 
So they're going to take about four hours <laughs> to get <laughs> to get out of here. This is the so this is the problem that I have. I mean, do I create a road that links this bridge to here? I mean, technically that would be like the M25. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. I mean, these aren't going to move anywhere, are they? They have to go down this road, which is simple, but it's the traffic trying to get through here. So where are these going? These are all try. These are trying. To so these are trying to go up here, and then all. Oh man. They're going to take some time. That they are going to take a long time. They still. <laughs> they still haven't gone anywhere. Would it be worth my while? making this two lanes this section here will that help i think it will i think we're gonna have to bite the bullet and do a few things like this so we have a bus lane to help the buses in so we do that we do that and then it's one building removed 14 okay so we could do that uh, someone should build back here again, I'm hoping. So hopefully they do that. So now these can use the bus lane. Away they go. Uh, they're really nice. Well, as you can see, they've uh, left the bus garage, kind of. Now that they've added in this road, <laughs> but they're still struggling. They're still struggling, if truth be told. Uh, they're still coming out. Oh, here comes the blue one. Oh, I quite like them. This guy's a bit of a wally. He should have used the bus lane. Don't know. I can only assume that he's new. But anyway, the buses are coming out. They're doing their thing. They've got a green light. Oh, it's... <laughs> I just carved that person up. Oh, I love this. I mean, look at them all go down the road. It's just bus alley. Bus alley? Bus alley. Bus alley. Well, they do look good. I like them. So, they're going to be doing their thing. They're going to be heading... Uh, I guess they might be coming here, some of them. And then they'll work their way around the, uh, the towns and the the uh the cities and stuff like that so i think we're gonna be okay with that it's gonna take some time for them to do their thing but we will get there in the end uh next thing i believe we should do uh is create a link from here to here now the issue that i have is the vehicles that are going from here to over there have to sit in all of this traffic and i don't like the i, I I don't like the idea of that. I wonder, actually thinking about it. I wonder if I should make this three lanes. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's make this three lanes and have a dedicated bus lane. Because this is all about the buses. So why don't we do that? Let's go to here. Let's find uh, the three lanes. And then we keep. we have a bus lane. And we can't do that. It's really annoying. We could do that bit. Let's do that bit. Okay. Can we get in here? No, we can't. So let's wait for the buses to cl clear that little bit. We can add a bit there. Let's get these buses through and then we we'll pause the game and we we'll quickly redo this little bit here. Okay, right, they are through. I keep forgetting to get rid of that tip thing. So let's get rid of this and we're going to have to do some adjustments. So how can we have this? We can't have it there, okay. But 
that works just fine. Thinking that will do the job. That there, okay. Can we get a little bend in? Uh, I think that's all right. Let's try that again. Let's get a little loop in here. Join that up. There we go, it's a little bit smoother. And uh, this part here as well. Get rid of you. Now this should help. I'm hoping. So the trap is going to sort itself out. It's not going to help the cars, but it will help the buses. They've now got a dedicated bus lane. Which makes perfect sense. I'm going to have to make a bus lane through here, aren't I? Uh, we could go bus lane. We, I don't want to go too big. So let's go two lane road. But one of those is a bus lane. I think we're going to have to do it and hope that people... Construction not possible. I'm hoping people... I'm hoping the buildings come back again. Uh, now why can't we do this part over here? We'll take that bit away. Can we put in... It? Okay, so we can do that. Probably looks terrible. Let me know what you think. <laughs> but anyway, with, with the idea was that we uh, solve the traffic issue through here. Uh, at least try to. Uh, one thing that we could do on this section. Uh, this is a three lane section. So we can have a bus lane that runs through the middle there. But that should help things. So we've got a dedicated bus lane going through the centre now. That all the way through. It should help out quite a bit. So we can now set up a link from London West to uh, London West, South End West. So we need to change the name of this thing as well. Uh, let's put in uh, London, London Bus Station East. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, this is an easy one. So we create a new line. Uh, that can be coloured blue. We have it as a coach line. So London, London west to east. Okie dokie. And just add in a stop. So we have it go to there. Uh, which stop is that going to? Stop number 10. Uh, let's have it use Let's have it use number 9. And we we'll have it feed all the way through to here. Now which way is that chosen to go? So it does go that way. Okay, that's fine. So station number 3. That stops on the main road. Uh, I want it to stop over here. Uh, mind you, I guess the main road's going to be okay. The problem is it has to do a U-turn. But, well, so be it. <laughs> That'd be alright. Uh, buy vehicles then. Uh, so we want to use some coaches. I'm thinking... I think it's going to be pretty busy. I don't know what that one is. It's got no picture. Uh, so what do we have? We could go with the... the the, the single rear axle and the man lion uh, I'll tell you what we could use we could use uh, where are they they unless we stick with the London buses as it is London now let's go with these things the Enviro 400s uh, 32 people made in 2019 I think these would be good Airlink. Uh, we we'll just go with these. Let's get a nice. We we'll get six of them. Yeah, let's go with six. Okay, and we will add them to the uh, London West to East. 
Lovely. Let's have a look at these. Oh, I like them. They are nice. So here's a good thing, you know, the, we've got a bus lane sorted out. I think we had to do it, really. We definitely had to do that. So we should start seeing people coming to this place here. Because we've set up a link from over here. And this, so we've set up two links now uh, from here to here and uh, down from Bournemouth to London West Station. Uh, how are we doing bus wise on this? Uh, I think you ought to save. Uh, we've got one over here. Nine people. Okay. Where are the, the blue vehicles? That's another one. Where are they? There's another oldie one there. Oh, here they are. Okay. So, how we do? I like the fact that it says on the front where the next road is going to. That's a lovely little detail there. Not many people on that one. But give it time. And uh, hopefully, we can start making a difference. I think this does a U-turn. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I wish, it, wish in life it was that easy. Seven people. Lovely. Super, super stuff. Yeah, I'm liking how this is going. We've, we've, we've done a lot now. Down at the bottom. We've done, we've done quite a bit as regards to, uh, you know, Penzance food to, to knowledge, basically. So we're starting to we're starting to hit. We're, we're, when you think about it, we haven't done anything. <laughs> we've still got we still got we still got all of this to go. Oh man, we've got such a long way to go. Uh, next thing on the list, I think we should probably think about covering. Uh, it would probably make sense if I'm really considering putting in the link from here. To here and then from here to here <sighs> surely that would make sense because everything has to go the whole lot has to go through London and I just don't know if that's gonna work it's quite a nice building there pretty big pretty tall Everything has to go through the centre of London. So I, I need to have a little bit of a think about that off camera. Give me some suggestions. Uh, what you think would be a good idea. Do we create... Do we just rip through London with a bigger road? Or do we try and create like a ring road around London? I just don't want it looking a bit of a mess. Uh, we haven't touched Luton yet. Uh, we've got to do Cambridge. And so perhaps those are the next ones to, to link up. And to be honest. Hmm, no. I was thinking about doing the loop round. But then once again it has to go through London. And that's not a good plan. So maybe we have a link that goes... Luton, Cambridge, and then Ipswich. <clears throat> Maybe we could do that. And then people from Ipswich can catch... Uh, it's the... What we got coming through? We got the, the, uh, the mega bus. How's that doing? 14 people. So it's not doing too badly. 30, see, 31 people there. I don't know whether to have it going Cambridge, L Luton. Maybe we put another bus terminal up here. 
and yeah i think that's probably the best option i think we should upgrade this road as well all right so we've added the bus station in it's all done i've done it off camera i was trying to figure a few bits and pieces out uh but it's all done now bus station's in and we've made a few adjustments to the roads we've put the bus lane in we've done a bit of train terrain editing and stuff like that just to smooth a few bits and pieces out we took a few traffic lights out that we didn't need uh, that we come out of this and we've set up a new line as well so it goes so so we got london here uh so we go from london bus station north uh we cover luton and then we cover cambridge and then we cover one stop in ipswich which then gives people the opportunity to go to Norwich if they wish and um, they could also come down because we haven't got a link so far from here into London that's easily done but it does give them the opportunity to uh, come down to this station over here and you know they can go down to Dover or they can come over to this uh, bus station over here and they've got access to all of this as well just by creating a bus stop in Ipswich. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how it all works out nicely? So, all we need to do now, and I think it would make sense if we add in a, another road depot to uh, make things a little bit easier. Let's have a look here. Uh, so, road depot, where can we add this in? I guess we just add it in over here. So we're straightening this up a little time. Actually, I'll tell you what we could do. That would make perfect sense if we just add it in here. Why is it so wobbly? Wibbly wobbly. Uh, no, that way. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to go for coaches. I'm going to go for the uh, buses. Let's open this up a little tiny bit. So, a passenger. Uh, maybe we go for the Alexander buses there. Uh, I want double deckers on the route. So, we've got loads of the Eclipse vehicles. Uh, we've got the Enviro 500s. Um, the majority of them are the Eclipses. I don't know if we have any other types of double deckers apart from the Enviros. NASA Express, Dundee. Got the Levantes there. A few coaches. Uh, yeah, most of these. I'll have to see if I can find a few more different types of uh, makes and models. So I'm thinking we go with. Uh, they're all the same. Perhaps we go with one of these then. We did have this over here. We can go uh, maybe the Evaro 400s. Or we go with these. Let's go with these ones. Uh, we've got the Magic Bus. Uh, great. Oh no, we use these for Manchester. So I tell you what, we will go with these ones over here. So we've got the Blue Star Coastliner, Coast. Uh, maybe a nice green. Yeah, green. Let's do that one then. Uh, it's a pretty big route. So I'm thinking we have. Oh, let's just go for ten. <laughs> We're just gonna go for ten. Let's add them in, and we will set them to that is uh which line is that one london north to ipswich via luton and cambridge there we go uh we can get the game rolling again these are uh, come straight out of the depot pretty dandy pretty cool what's it say on the front there london north to ip the crescent <laughs> london north to ip there we go so it's currently heading to the Crescent. Which actually, if we have a little look. So the first stop is... Where is the first stop? 
is here. Well, that's New Street. So where's... Oh, that one's heading to over here. Oh, that one's starting over there. Okay. I like how it spaces all the vehicles out. It's pretty nice. Yeah, they look pretty good, don't they? Don't know why he's chosen to... Or she's chosen to... Uh, up for that lane. There's a bus lane here. Probably because they're turning left at the end. I don't know. I'm thinking that's possibly what's going on. It does actually fit all the uh, London North to Ipswich. <laughs> uh, London Bus Station North. So they're going to be doing their thing. That's looking pretty nice indeed. We we're getting there. I think, honestly think we're making big progress. We've got all the bottom cupboards. We're starting to work our way up. As regards to the next episode, uh, I think we're going to create some routes from, say, the terminal here. I need to link up this one to this one. Uh, we've got a bus route going from here to here. I need to link it up to this one as well preferably i could have a separate bus going from here actually that would work that would work it's got to get through the traffic but i think that would work we could have a bus going from here to here and from this station here we could start branching out more i think so in the next episode the plan is uh we create the small little link between these two bus stations and I would I would like to go far afield I'd like to start setting up some long journeys to uh, we can have one go to Aberdeen we can have one go to Glasgow uh, we can have one go to Newcastle and yeah we go with that and see, all of these places are going to need their own bus links, and we have to set up, you know, bus stations as we go through. So, next episodes, we're going to set some long distance bus journeys up from London, you know, to the top. Uh, we do Glasgow, Edinburgh, and just go from there, really. But I'm enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's have a real quick look at the statistics, see what's happening. They are all making a profit, as you can see. <laughs> I tell you what, though, this one's doing pretty well. 100 and, uh, about 160 people, 150 people. That one's still zero. London Loop Buses, not doing very well at all. Uh, the Mega Buses is doing pretty well. This one, the Taunton Loop's gone down a little bit. I think, oh, that's how many people are on the bus currently so very quickly Torton do we have many people waiting surprisingly uh, it's gone down quite a bit mainly because they're all they're all here yeah what waiting for the uh, the Torton waiting for Torton loop there so where are the Torton vehicles Nobody knows. We got one here. Uh, oh, I see. So this guy's struggling. He can't. This is a bus lane, but this one person can't make the turn because the traffic's all piled up. Oh boy. So do we have? Do we make this three lanes as well? This is this is the issue that we have. Uh, we've got the buses, but they can't get to where they're going because the traffic levels are so severe. I don't know. We've got lots of things to do. We've still got lots of things road-wise to try and get the buses moving. He might now get going. Come on, you can do it. Uh, I don't know if we need traffic lights here. I guess we do. Right, the bus can get... Oh, it's not going that way. It's going straight on. Where's... 
Oh, okay, so they're waiting for this one. Oh, no. So that one's having to go that way. Oh, boy, these poor, poor people having to wait such a long time. There's so many people waiting here. 64... <laughs> <laughs> There's 64 people waiting. Do I set up a direct link from here to... Uh, see, it's, they're always going to get stuck in the traffic. I don't know what the answer is. Here comes the bus. It's just... Yeah, I think we're going to have to make this three lanes. I can't see another way. He's finally going to make it. I'd like to see it get to the bus station, to be honest. Uh, I've also found some more traffic lights that I don't want. So we get rid of them. No need for them. So the bus is finally on its way in. And we've got a coach coming in now as well. It's 31 people. So this can take 40 people here. Everybody's getting on. 40 people. And away it goes. Ladies and gentlemen. Right, we're going to finish up here. Thoughts and suggestions in the comments, please. Uh, on what we could do to try and help the traffic because it's really really bad <laughs> it's, it's extremely extremely bad uh, and not particularly going particularly swimmingly is it but we're making progress we're getting there thank you so much for watching uh, love to see you in the next episode love for your thoughts and opinions and comments down below make them nice <laughs> nothing too negative please uh subscribe for more lovely content almost at 700 subscribers and almost after eight years a thousand subscribers yeah like subscribe share and i look forward to seeing you in episode number four take care goodbye thank you